welcome back to our channel or welcome to our channel if you're new. For today's video, we'll be diving into some more DIYs. I know we've done a lot of DIYs so far, but we'll definitely bring some more cooking and beauty into the channel later on in the month. So for today's video, we'll be making this very beautiful DIY ball Christmas ornament tree. Now this is a really great tree to have at your front door or as a centerpiece even, depending on if you're having parties and things like that. So it's a really great piece to add to maybe an, a corner of the house that needs some Christmas love or just as something to give as a gift. It can be used for a lot of things. So we made this with a ton of materials that we had lying around the house. If you'd like to see how to make this, then please keep on watching. All right, so as per usual, we're gonna show you all the supplies you need to get started. So we're first gonna start off with, of course, you need Christmas ornaments. So we had a ton of leftover Christmas ornaments that we weren't gonna use again. They're really like plain sort of looking ones. So we took a lot of the red and gold ones. We also have some lights, a old tree skirt, preferably one that you're okay with kind of destroying or playing around with. You're also going to need some Bristol board. We have some red to match with the ornaments we have, some styrofoam. You'll also need scissors and of course a glue gun. Okay, so you may be wondering already, why are we using Bristol board? Now the Bristol board is going to act as a foundation for our Christmas tree. So it's going to be like the actual Christmas tree and we're just sticking the balls on top. Now you preferably want to get a piece of bristle board that is the same color as the balls that you're using. You'll also need to turn it up into a spiral, somewhat of like a cone, and you're going to glue the ends just so that it doesn't come apart. Now you want to really glue the ends because if this does come apart, everything falls apart. So you want to make sure that everything is glued securely down. After you've securely glued this bristle board together, you're going to cut off the end so that you have a flat surface to stick down your piece of bristol board and you want to stick this down on a surface the surface that we're using to stick ours down is going to be some styrofoam now we had the styrofoam we were going to put in the recycling but we decided to reuse it so we're just gluing the rim of the cone that we made and you're going to stick this straight onto the styrofoam or whatever surface that you're going to use now you want to really securely fasten this down and put pressure on it just so that it stays in place. Once your surface is dry, you're gonna start placing your ornaments onto your surface. Now, this styrofoam surface was pretty sturdy and we did not put much of the hot glue on the styrofoam because it could melt through. We did, however, put it a lot on the bristle board. That's why the bristle board is there. So as you can see, you're just going to place some glue onto the inside of the ball and you're going to stick it straight on the tree. Now, we of course sped up this process because this takes some time, but that's not always a bad thing. This is a really good activity, especially to do with kids and it's just a really nice fun Christmas activity. So as you can see, we're just adding on some of the balls at the top as well, and we're just going to work our way to the top of the tree. All right, so this is what the tree looks like as is. Now you may be thinking, okay, it doesn't exactly look like a tree as yet. Well, it won't until you start adding more stuff at the bottom to bring in that wideness of a cone shape, therefore a Christmas tree. So you're just going to finish up the top area and then we're gonna go back to the bottom and then work up again. So we're taking some of these little um, floral pieces, you could say, some of these Christmas floral pieces, and we're going to add them at the bottom where the styrofoam is because we want to try and hide the styrofoam. You'll see what we mean later on when we start to place everything together. But for this part, you're gonna use any type of ornaments that you want. You can even use ribbons to hide the styrofoam or whatever surface you have. And you're just going to apply them into areas that are sparse. So as you can see, we're using these floral ones as well as some of these little balls. And this is just going to hide some of the areas that maybe were missed. So it just adds a nice cluster of things. I know that's a weird word to say with something nice, but it is a nice cluster of Christmas things. So you'll see that the bottom is now starting to take shape because now that you have a nice base. So you're just going to stick all of those in and you can use glue or you can just stick them in since we're using styrofoam. So the same method that we applied at the bottom of the tree, we're going to apply inside the tree. 
What I mean by this is that because of it being Bristol board and the fact that we're putting circular objects on a flat surface, there are going to be some areas that are still opened up where you can see the Bristol board. Now, what you're going to do with this is that you're going to take advantage of this and start to add even more decorations inside. Any type of old decorations you have, they always look great when you put them together to make a new piece. So that's what we're doing right now. So we're just going to stick them into all of the areas. We're taking some glue on the stem and just sticking it straight in. And they're really sturdy, like it's not going to move at all, especially because it is hot glue. So we're just sticking this in the areas that are sparse, just so that everything looks put together and it just looks like more of a cohesive tree, almost as if we didn't have anything inside and it was just a lot of Christmas balls put together to make a tree. Now that we have enough around the tree, we're going to move on to the top. Now, as you can see, we're just adding a little bit of extra stuff. So like pine cones and things like that, just to cover some additional spaces, because of course, being the top of the tree, you need a topper for the tree. So before we add the topper, you want to make sure everything around it is nice and secure and there's not too many like open spaces, just as if you were doing a real tree because you don't like big spaces of open emptiness on a regular Christmas tree. So for this one, it's the same principle. So this is what the tree looks like on its own. And now we're going to apply our topper. So we're just going to pinch the Bristol board and we're going to put some glue inside just so that it has some stickiness to it, and then you're going to see if a topper can fit. Now we got this really cheap topper at the dollar store, and it's a really beautiful topper and it works well for this piece, so that's why we used it. So we're just fixing some little areas. You're gonna have to fix here and there as you go. So we're just fixing some areas, and then we're going to stick our topper on top of our tree. Now this will definitely not budge because of the way we stuck this on. And we also added a couple more other things around the top of the tree before we moved on. So this is what the tree completed looks like. As you can see, you can't see much of the Bristol board because of the fact that the Bristol board is the same color as the ornaments we used. We added some little fake berries on the topper just so that the topper didn't have any of the Bristol board showing. This is the full final product before we move on to the rest of it. So what I mean by this is this vase. Now we've had this vase for many years and it's kind of lost its usefulness. So we're repurposing it for the purpose of this holiday season. So we're going to take some more of that hot glue and you want to do this part very quickly before the glue dries on your surface. Then you're going to place your tree on top of it. Now, by all means, you can do, of course, a regular pedestal, but we decided that this would give a really nice illusion, especially with what we're going to do next. So this is what it looks like as is. Now, because the styrofoam is still showing, of course, we are now taking the tree skirt and we're going to place it around our newly made Christmas tree. Now, what we're doing first is that we're going to put thumbtacks on the areas that need to stay down in order for us to pull it around our piece. So you're just sticking those down and then you you can place it in any way, or shape or form that you'd like. Now I know what you may be thinking, there probably was an easier way for us to do this. We could just put it on a pedestal or something, but we wanted to repurpose things from around the house. We wanted this to be a very affordable, easy DIY, something that you could take anything from around the house that's not being used or kind of lost it, its luster and you can repurpose it and make something different out of it. And that's the reason why we did this with the vase and all of that. All right, so this is what the final DIY looks like. So as you can see, this gives the illusion of it being on a table with a tablecloth. So that's the kind of idea we were going for when we use the vase. Now up close, this is what it looks like. Now we forgot to mention that we did run the lights at the bottom of the tree and that just brought some light to shine upwards up to the top of the tree. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you thought of this video and other videos on our channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos every single week and to turn on post notifications to be notified whenever we upload. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Happy holidays and thanks for watching.